We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. We should be able to reach the barons up top. Once we find a way past this hive, man. <laughs> I remember these things. Definitely Dark Elf territory. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. Might even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Hail, fellow travelers! Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well. Right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. How can I help? This axe just keeps getting stronger. Oh, got time to chat? What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated ah! Gulon. Most unusual. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Tempting treasure chest! Damn the sand! <laughs> Not getting up there with all this sand in your way! Sand. I don't think we're getting through that gate in this storm.
Whatever this thing is, I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? The skeins and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one, see where it takes us. your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite?
Look, there's a cave entrance. This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. the Dark Elves. I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alphonse, can you really blame them? Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader.
creature you had. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. Talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you've helped some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. Oh! <laughs> 
to get there. I remember a young lad who, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes, getting involved where we shouldn't. like no matter what we do in Alphard, we wind up hurting Dark Elves. We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> 
Bloody half you five ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. You don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. I'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so. Oh boy, while I appreciate the attempt to humor, that little brother is truly awful workplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, we can't all be winners. Whoa! Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Hathkafas are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it.
This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can? Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I.